Elon Musk just made a bold move. He dropped a massive updates to Grok AI Video Generator. Now, Grok Imagine supports text to video generation, along with improved video and much better audio quality. Like this example. With Grok Imagine. Those upgrades could make Grok the best free AI video generator available. Plus, XAI is rolling out support for longer videos up to 10 seconds. So, to separate the truth from the hype, I decided to test Grok Imagine side by side against Google VO 3.1, which is currently the best AI video generator. To evaluate them, I'll use the following criteria. Video generation speed. Overall quality and aesthetics. Temporal and motion dynamics. Prompt adherence. Camera movement and control. And finally, censorship to check the spicy mode. For each test, I'll use the exact same prompt on both models and rate them from 1 to 5 stars. At the end, we'll see who is the winner. Let's start the competition. First up, speed. We'll add the prompts and hit enter. Waiting for generations is one of the biggest time wasters for creators. Musk claims the new Grok Aurora model generates videos in less than 20 seconds, which is very fast for the actual standards. Not bad, less than 19 seconds for Grok. Google VO took more than a minute. Here you can see the generated videos, all playing the audio one by one. First VO. Hello? Now Grok? Hello? You can see Grok got a nice update on the voiceover too. For our ranking, I'll give five start for the Grok generation speed. VO gets just two stars. To be fair, I used VO's fast for this comparison, and even then, the performance was disappointing. Now let's perform the quality and aesthetics test. We use this prompt for both models. Here we're looking for the general perceptual quality, everything from resolution and color grading to lighting and textures. Let's watch the results side by side. In my opinion, Grok's video is extremely sharp and detailed, but it looks more like a polished digital render because of its overly bright colors and intense lighting, making it feel less like a real-world video. VO 3.1's video is highly aesthetic and convincing. It looks of a professional clip with realistic textures, natural lighting, and a highly believable snow leopard. Back to our rating chart. Overall, VEO 3.1 is the winner, and I'll give it 5 stars because it achieves the highest quality and realism, looking genuinely like a video of a real animal. I'll give Grok 4 stars for the sharp, quality, and details. Good-looking individual frames mean nothing if the motion is janky. This test evaluates how smoothly objects move, whether physics look natural, and if there's proper motion blur and frame consistency. We're using this prompt, and here's how they compare. Hmm. I prefer the one on the left. I mean, the video. By the way, if you're finding this comparison useful, hitting that subscribe button and liking the video really helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's look at the details. Grok's video has movements that look in slow motion. The low detail in the water physics and the less than fluid action mean that even if the slow motion were removed, the overall scene would still feel simplistic and lack natural energy. VO 3.1's video excels in general temporal dynamics, with beautifully smooth horse and water motion. However, the movement of the cowgirl riding the horse is noticeably stiff or unnatural, pointing to an inconsistency in realism between the different elements in the scene. Overall, VEO 3.1 is still technically superior in rendering complex motion, and I'll give it 4 stars. Grok is technically behind, and I'll give it 3 stars because it had a good quality but still has some catching up to do. A powerful AI video generator is useless if it ignores the instructions. For this test, I'm using a detailed prompt with specific elements to see which model actually follows directions, but we'll look for three details. Main subject and action. An elderly Caucasian sailor with a gray beard blue hat eating a giant plate of spaghetti. Setting and style, a sunny working dock eye pier with a softly blurred seascape background. Crucial detail, the sailor's sweater must have the text AI Discovery. Let's see which model gets it right. Grok generates correctly an elderly Caucasian and a bearded sailor, but he is wearing a different style of hat. His sweater has the AI Discovery text. He is eating spaghetti at a dock fulfilling most criteria but misses the specified blue sailor hat. VO 3.1 also generates the correct sailor, and he is wearing the correct blue knitted sailor hat. He is eating spaghetti at a dock and has the AI discovery text on his sweater. VO got all three main criteria right. Back to our rating, VO 3.1 earned 5 stars by demonstrating stronger prompt adherence, 
correctly rendering all three key visual details. Grok got four stars by successfully capturing the essence but misses a critical detail, the hat. Camera motion can elevate a video from amateur to cinematic. I'm testing both models with this prompt. It includes a specific camera instructions to track the car in a drone chase style. Let's see which model handles it better. Here are the results. Grok establishes a cinematic tone with a dramatic high altitude shot that reveals the scale of the mountain pass before transitioning into a dynamic chase. This varied camera motion provides superior visual context and pacing, making the overall video feel professionally composed. VEO 3.1 maintains a single, highly consistent perspective directly behind the car. While the motion is technically flawless in its smoothness, the unwavering follow cam style results in a less dramatic, visually static perspective that resembles a fixed camera in a video game. Back to our rating, Grok earned 5 stars for its dynamic camera work and sophisticated composition. VO 3.1 scored 4 stars for its technical smoothness, but its monotonous perspective resulted in a less engaging video. Finally, our last test before we crown a winner. Creative freedom matters. I'm pushing both models with spicy prompts within the rules to see what they generate. This is the prompt. Both models generated the videos. Grok, in my opinion, provided a slightly better rendering while VEO 3.1 used strong lighting to slightly obscure the subject. On our rating, Grok got 5 stars for offering the most literal and unrestricted render. VEO 3.1 got 4 stars for its successful generation that used lighting to slightly temper the subject. Alright, time to tally the scores. Google VEO 3.1 got 24 stars in total, while Grok Imagine got 26 stars. And the winner is Grok Imagine a free AI video generator that has no much buzz around, but is beating the king in our test. So, what did we learn? Grok's superpower is speed and iteration. With fast generation times, it's absolutely perfect for fast prototyping, testing, and rapid content creation. Plus, its camera work and dynamic compositions are genuinely impressive. If you need to pump out multiple variations of an idea or you're working on tight deadlines, Grok is your tool. The 10 seconds clip update is being rolled out by regions and hopefully you already can see the option. VO 3.1 on the other hand is unbeatable when it comes to pure realism and quality. The textures, lighting, and overall aesthetic feel genuinely professional, like something you'd see in a high-end production. If you're creating final deliverables where photorealism and polish matter most, VEO is still the king in that department. What about pricing? I tested both models on their free plans and there's a massive difference. Grok gives you about 20 videos per day. These limits can vary based on system load, updates, or location. VO 3.1, fast using Flow app, gives just eight videos per month. And honestly, that's not really free. That's more like a limited trial. So if you want to experimenting with AI video, the choice becomes pretty clear from an accessibility standpoint. The bigger picture? With Elon Musk pushing aggressive updates to Grok, AI video generation is becoming incredibly accessible and we're just getting started. Now I want to hear your opinion. Which one do you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI tools. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.